Hello. Now, I don't normally do videos like this, but this one's quite serious and could have long-lasting effects on all of us. Now, as I've been having a look around on the internet for car parts, car accessories and cars in general, I found a link to a piece of information that's been put out by the government. It's on the GovUK website, and it's, uh, well, they're advertising it as a call for evidence on the registering of classic historic was it classic and historic vehicles, classic historic rebuilt and electrically converted vehicles. Now they're calling it a call for evidence. That alone should set the red flags showing the fact that it's a call for evidence. What they're saying in the listing when you read through it, it's quite long. I will leave a link to it in the description of this video. I'll also do a short and I'll link this video in the short so the people that watch on the on the short shelf can also find the information as well. I urge you to go and look for it and have a read through it and complete the survey, but be very careful when you complete the survey. By the looks of it, reading through the bump that's contained within it, it tells you what it's all about and how it'll go out, how we'll go about responding to it all. It states that currently, under the current process, if you have a classic vehicle or a historic vehicle, if you modify the chassis, as in if you cut the rust out of the chassis and replace a new length of chassis section in there, then that qualifies as the car being severely modified from original and the car could indeed by the DVLA being given a Q registration or a Q plate. Now for the benefit of those people watching outside the UK, Q plates over here have a bit of a stigma to them. So for example, if your registration is ABC123A, if you get a Q plate, it would have, I think the Q either goes at the beginning of the registration or goes at the end of the registration. But what it means is that the car then is classified as being of indeterminate age. So they can't find out the age of the vehicle. So if it's a historic vehicle and the DVLA deem it necessary to give it a Q registration, it will then need an MOT every year and it will need to have the VED or the vehicle excise duty, what we used to call road tax. You'll have to start paying that on the vehicle again as well. And you won't get away, there's no way around it, you won't get away with that. Now, the listing in this, they want to know all the details with regards to historic vehicles, classic vehicles, rebuilt vehicles, which I'm seeming to think is restored vehicles, and also electrically converted vehicles. Now, at the moment, as far as it stands with the DVLA, DVLA because I did a video last year or the year before where I ran the DVLA and asked them if I took a classic car and converted it to fully electric, would it still retain its historic registration and details? And they said at that point that it would. Now, by the looks of this reading between the lines, that may not be the case any longer. So it's been publicised. It came out, the survey came out on the 9th of May. It's running for eight weeks until the 4th of July. If you're in the UK, click the link in the description below, read through all the details, and then complete the survey. But be very careful about how you complete the survey, because depending on what we do, we may lose the possibility of having historic vehicles and classic vehicles on the road. I'm not joking. I'm not messing about. I don't normally do videos like this. This is a serious video. This survey or this request for information isn't being advertised in very many places at all. Very few places you'll find it. So I've thought it necessary to make the video, put the link below, go read the details, go do the survey, give them the information they want and make sure that we get to retain our historic vehicles, our classic vehicles, our old cars, our restored cars, and we'll still get to enjoy them the way we can at the minute. Now, I would have thought that if you watch any of the Jeff Bice Cars channel or Andy the Gary Cabby or Brown Car Guy, they'll probably be on this at some point. If you watch any of those channels and you're watching this video, tag them in it, get it to them, so we can spread this out across the UK and get everybody that's involved in classic vehicles, historic vehicles, restored vehicles, rebuilt vehicles, and even electrically converted vehicles. Get everybody in this and get everybody to answer this survey and give the government what they want, but make sure that we get to keep our cars and keep enjoying our cars every summer and all year round as we do at the moment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.